two teams, $1 million, and the chance to take home the Summoner's Cup. Oh! Millions of people watched online. 10,000 adoring fans were in attendance, all to see who would be crowned Season 2 World Champion. Korea's Azubu Frost came into the World Championship Finals as the heavy favorites, having made short work of their competition in each stage of the tournament. The Taipei Assassins were resilient throughout the entire playoffs, playing the role of the underdog in every match they played. They fought their way past the world's best for the chance to represent Taiwan in the finals. Let's see how it all unfolded at the Galen Center in Los Angeles. Game one started off the way most anticipated, with the Zulu Frost picking up first blood. Run that bandage toss, it's gonna be first blood, Stanley's going to come down! It is gonna be Shy picking up first blood! But the Assassins turned things around quickly, picking up three kills in the bottom lane and jumping out to an early lead. They're gonna be able to tank the turrets up, they are gonna go for this one! They take him down! Have they got enough to take that life? Yes, they do! And BB picks it up! Very nice turn! After controlling the first 20 minutes, the game began to turn back in Azubu's favor when Rapid Star's Karthus picked up a quadra kill. He might pop over this one! He gets a quadra kill! He gets a quadra kill! Azubu continued to battle back. They would ace TPA, giving them the victory in game one. And what an amazing way to open the world finals! 54 kills, 42 minute victory! Rapid Star's Karthus turned the tide in Game 1. He went 13, 5, and 12, wreaking havoc all over the map. Not to be deterred, TPA came out strong in Game 2, securing first blood after Lil Ball's Mundo flashed on Mad Life Zyra to get BB to kill with Caitlyn. Game 1 turned on Azubu's Karthus, but in Game 2 it was TPA's turn to put his global presence on display. Here we see Toys going in towards that, there's a teleport from Toys. Wall of Pain, not quite landing, but Rapid Star. Toys abusive Requiem teleport combination allowed TPA to pick up an early ace at 15 minutes. They do! And it's three kills! Meanwhile down the bottom, there's another trade! That's an ace! It's Toys Karthus continued to dictate the action. This time a triple kill would lead to another ace and the win. It's gonna be fast, but it's a triple kill again! This time it was Toys dominating with Karthus. With the series tied at one game apiece, the Taipei Assassins showed off one of the reasons why they can never be counted out. Toys on Orianna. They're very scary right now. They're going for that Oracle. They're going for little balls, actually. They're diving. Toys' in. play on Orianna throughout the World Championship has been exceptional. A shockwave on Cloud Templar Shen locks him up for the kill. Shockwave's gonna, that's gonna be an Oracle burn for Toys. Game three belonged to TPA as they terrorized Azubu at every turn. That's the runaway, and they have a five-man terror squad. Toys could not be stopped, and his killing spree was enough for Azubu to throw up the surrender at 22 minutes. They are destroying, one might say, assassinating. BB racked up an impressive 5-0 and 4 KDA on Vayne to help TPA do the win. Now up two games to one in the best of five series, the Taipei Assassins were one win away from hoisting the Summoner's Cup. And they came out in game four on fire. Perfect ward placement allowed them to catch Mad Life's Lulu in the jungle for first blood. That same ward gave them vision on Wu's graves as he tried to steal the red buff. A brilliant blind flash taunt from Stanley Shen allowed TPA to secure back-to-back -back kills. TPA was in the driver's seat. Toys was on Orianna yet again, and his shockwave into Stanley's taunt gave them complete control, locking up two members of Azubu, leading to a Baron. Not playing like the underdog any longer, the Taipei Assassins pushed their way to the Nexus, defeating Azubu Frost to become the Season 2 World Champions. Against all odds, they take home $1 million, the Summoner's Cup, and the right to be called Champions of the World. They are victorious! What a fantastic sight! We started with the 12 best League of Legends teams from around the world, and it's only fitting that tonight, these two fantastic teams gave us such a well-played, hard-fought match to end it all. So we're grateful for all of your support tonight during the playoffs and throughout the season. So please join us in congratulating your Season 2 World Champions, the Taipei Assassins!